I'm Dolores. I love to shop, but I'm out of control. My problem is that I like too many things, and it's hard for me to let go. I think I'm a shopper and a hoarder. I'm Arthur, and I'm Dolores' husband. The current condition of our home is that every room is full. I mean, if you come into the entrance and you look to your left is the, is the living room, it's full. You look to the right and the dining room is full. You go straight ahead to the kitchen, it's full. You go to the family room, it's full. You go up the stairs if you can, there's stuff on the stairs. The three bedrooms up there are full, so every room is full, and the garage. She doesn't like to stay in the house because of the condition of the house. Where have you been? No, we have the elbow. How are you? How are you, you Stephanie? I love, love, love to shop. What are you looking for today? We got tons of jewelry yeah. over there. Well, you know me. I'm first with the jewelry. I know you like the jewelry. But here, look, pearl clips. Pearls are big again. Look at these. My favorite thing to buy is jewelry. That's my weakness. These are good. OK. Keep your pile over here, like always. I love my clothes. Orange is 25 off, and green is half off. Oh, my God. And there's the yellow. You love yellow. I love my shoes. I get a high when I go shopping, especially if it's on sale. <laughs> and this is what, half? Yeah, 75, not half, 75 off. I get very excited. This is that's nice, I'm gonna get this. Oh, that's nice. And I buy it, whether I need it or not. I want no, no shopping bag. Oh, really? Arthur's gonna see it. Tell me you went to the grocery store and you got some uh, toiletries, that's what I say. I have spent several hundred thousand dollars over the years on my stuff. It made me happy. I don't regret it. She'll go into stores, see something she likes, and she'll buy it and bring it home. Arthur, are you home? And hide it. And it's led to this current condition. I'm Jenny, and Dolores is my mom. I think my mom is a hoarder. I feel like she's caused the situation, but she doesn't want to be around it. It's like she loves these possessions, but she's also resents them as well. We've lived in this house for 41 years. This is my dream house. It was always picture perfect. I would always entertain, have my friends over, and had beautiful dinners for Christmas. I was always a perfectionist. I put my house before myself. Early on, Dolores didn't have any of those tendencies as far as collecting things and, you know, overbuying and purchasing. She was pristine. I mean, her house, she could eat off the floors, you know, everything was in order. I'm Artie, and I'm Dolores' oldest child. My house growing up, my mom was like a neat freak. So she would just always want everything in order, and she was all about keeping her house nice and neat. I remember my mom, like, picking up lint from the carpet. Like, everything had to be perfect, picture perfect. The problem that we currently have didn't start until probably 25 years being in the current house. In other words, she's probably been doing it for the last 10 to 12 years. Arthur would like me to get rid of everything. Arthur would get very mean with me and tell me 
he's going to leave. If the house is not in order, he can't live like this anymore. He would say, I'm going to Texas. I'm going to move in with Artie. I said, fine, do that. That's what you want. The more Arthur would get angry with me, I would go shopping more. And I knew that would upset him by me not having the house in order. All the stuff in the house is payback. As far as I'm concerned, you can go into that house and throw everything out. Everything, everything. Nothing in there is mine, nothing. I feel like my dad's been put through a lot. She's the one who did it, and the victim's my dad. It's been torture for him. I think that my dad really doesn't know how to handle her, and I think it's hurting their marriage tremendously. If my mom's not willing to clean up the house, I think that my dad is going to have no other choice but to leave. The problem of the hoarding has to be addressed and has to be fixed. And if Dolores doesn't change her habits, I really don't know what our future will be. Good morning, everybody. Morning. Good morning. We're here, big team, because we've got a big job inside this house. <laughs> we are going to spend the entire day today earning your trust. And we want you feeling good about this and feeling comfortable about it. We have enough people to help that we can actually get this done. Guys, ready to go? Ready. All right, All right. let's do let's it. Let's do it. So we just had a really good morning meeting. I've set the plan, and we're all very clear on what our roles are going to be today. Dolores in the house with the organizers, and me and Artie and the cleaners in the garage, and we're going to bang out the whole first floor, and we're going to bang out the garage, and everybody's going to be happy. No, just leave that there. That did not happen. Five minutes in, Dolores gets distracted with the garage. Hey, Dolores. Oop. No, you see what happened? Hold up. No, no. Dolores immediately leaned down, put her hand on something, and had to touch it. So what are you? what is your theory right here? What are we doing? This is Siesta's keys. Um, That's sand. a bag of sand. Yeah. And from the very first minute, we're just watching Dolores pick. See this? This is Christmas. OK, we're going to sort all of that yeah. for you over the tables. Dolores, what, huh? you're supposed to be inside. Yes, I, I know. I just have you, to show you. You can't look at all this stuff. We're going to pull it out for you, and we're going to let you sort it. We saw immediately what Arthur and the family was telling us about. She is unable to stay focused even for 60 seconds. I need you inside telling the girls yes. what to do. I'll go out. So I need you to trust me to get this empty. This is not going to go in the dumpster, OK? This is exactly what happens. Anytime, what happens? You, anytime you try to get rid of stuff, she starts looking in every bag and tries to keep everything there. It's the same damn thing. I see. Look, the same thing. Look Just leave the these two boxes there. there. I'll get it. I'll pull them to the side. Yeah. No, because I only need it's, it's unbelievable. So we got to interrupt this process. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, this has to stop. All right. And so you, the girls are waiting on you at the front all door. Right. You know what? All right. And I'll, nope, don't want to go to the garage. I'll get all this. I got a bunch of people that can help me with this. Ooh, yeah. Really okay. Just throw it out. Yeah. All right. All right, if you see this row right here, this is from the garage, and that's a lot of mouse poop, mm -hmm. right? And it's really just this row here, but it's pretty saturated with both poop and oh, yeah. urine, yeah. OK? Can I put this on the Dolores' commandments, which is anything covered in rat poop? Ow. Go. Yeah. You agree with that? Yeah. OK. What's this in here? I don't know, but it's trash bags, so I, I think it's going to be bad. So I, I would suggest letting oh. it go, because it's covered in rat pee and poop. Now, Dolores, you're going with your bare hands through stuff that's covered in mouse poop. Throw it out. There you go. You've given us the OK. I'm going to let you pick that top corner. All right. Now you're fiddling with things yeah, again, Yeah, no, here, no, this all goes. Yep. OK. If all it goes, then you can leave it Doing alone. Doing great. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, this goes. OK.
I won't even tell you what this costs, these four things. Dolores, I'm gonna be really blunt. If you want an empty house, you're gonna lose stuff that is important to you. Do you hear me? Mm-hmm. Do you, but, li do you agree not, or do you care? Certain things I will not. Certain things I will not, like these. These are very, very expensive okay. and I'll use them. I, I'm just gonna really question how important is this stuff versus clearing a house out for your grandkids? Certain things are important. What's more important? A fake gold plate or making space for your grandkids? Some is my stuff. Your stuff is more important than making space for the grandkids? Probably. You mean that? The stuff is more important? Certain things, yes. I'm Dr. David Tolan. I'm a clinical psychologist and a specialist in the study and treatment of hoarding disorder. I was shocked. Jenny is standing right there, and that's got to be brutal to hear your mom say that. Jenny, you look like you're feeling something as you're listening to this. Tell me what's going on with you. It's just a lot. <laughs> Tell me. It's just a lot of stuff. Like, you can't, no one could use all this stuff. So it's just, I understand it's hard to make a decision on every single one, but we can't sit here and make a decision on every single piece. We can't. Or else it's just, we're never gonna get this house done. Right. We're only on the garage right now. So we need to move a little bit, move along a little bit. But it's really gonna require a tough choice from you, Dolores. I know that you put family first. And I think deep in your heart, you know that to be true as well. But I think right now your thinking has been clouded by this drug that's all around you, this clutter. I believe that deep in her heart, she really wants to get over this. At the same time, Dolores has been thrown into the middle of something huge and overwhelming, and she's doing what she can to feel a semblance of control. You could do it. You have her support. You don't need this stuff. I have to work with Dolores to try to understand the reasons why she hoards so that she can get better control over herself. So please, we're begging you, please get rid of this stuff. Like, we're begging you, please. I'm concerned about the pace that this is going at. Right now, Dolores still has to handle and look at every single item. How are you making the decision? If Dolores doesn't fundamentally change her behavior, all right, we're not really going to accomplish much. We can clean out the house, but if Dolores doesn't change, she's just gonna fill it up again. If we go at the pace we're going right now, we'll be lucky to finish downstairs. And that's just not enough for, the, for everybody. I need to get rid of some stuff, either trash, donate, or sell. So Matt's question is, are you willing to let the organizers make some decisions about what stays and what goes without you having to look at every one of them? But that's, if you do that, then we can just move on with the other stuff too, because we need to get to these other rooms. Okay? Mm-hmm. So would that be okay with you, Dolores, to let other people go through some stuff for you instead of you having to do it all yourself? Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, good, Dolores. <laughs> we need that. Uh... Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, take it. Kind of surprised how easily Dolores is saying okay. She's saying, yeah, go for it. And so we did. For the last two hours, we really cranked it out. We got a full team. We're going as fast as we can. And the reality is we have not put a dent in this house. I got 10 feet of white tile. That's it. I've got to clean four rooms tomorrow and get upstairs if I have any chance of saving this house.
Day four is always tough. You really hope you're gonna finish, but I don't know if we're gonna finish. We've been cranking all morning. We're making really good progress upstairs, and we're about to fill our 10th dumpster, which is gonna put us over 25,000 pounds of trash in the last three days. Donate. Our pace has picked up considerably because Dolores got out of the house and let us work. Donate. Donate, all right, I like it. Got it. Donate. Donate. Dolores is out front going through thousands of pieces of clothing. I would estimate probably 10,000 pieces of clothing are coming from upstairs. And my goal is to keep her doing that the rest of the day. Donate. But we are gonna be up to the very last second to finish this. We did it. We cleaned the upstairs and the downstairs. It was a slow start, but we really pulled it out at the end. We're getting ready to take the family in and show them all the work that we did. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. My goodness. My house. What do you think? Great. Oh wow. my God. My God. Just it's, it's just hard to believe. I haven't just seen this beautiful. room in probably 10 years. You know, it's always fun to see a family walk into a house they haven't seen in 20 years. And you can see the emotion immediately from everybody. Jenny, how you feel? Definitely brings back a lot of good memories. Yeah, you got yeah. good memories in here too? Mm -hmm. It's just hard to put into words. It's just really unbelievable. Like, I never thought that this would happen. Oh, my God. It looks brand new. Yeah, wow. go on in. <laughs> I, it's wow. unbelievable. Oh, my God. Holy God. Wow. This is like a rebirth. I mean, this is just something that I never dreamed could happen. Never. Arthur truly believes he's getting his life back. That's a really powerful thing to see. Oh my, oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. I haven't seen that granite in many moons. It was just astounding to see it totally clear the way I remembered it from many years ago. Now I'm very excited just to live a normal life. This is absolutely a win. We finished the house. We got 25,000 pounds of trash out of here. And a family has got a chance of getting their life back. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just beautiful. How do so, you feel, dear? Terrific. Is this, now we're going to keep it this way, right? That's right. Right? It's not mm -hmm. going to change. Absolutely. It's really important to recognize that this is not the end of the story. This is the beginning of the story, that we got them off to a good start, but now it's up to them. I'll never forget any of you. It's just amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, you said something to me in the garage today. You remember what you said? There's no way to repay what you have mm -hmm. done. All of you, all of you, the whole crew. You folks did a great job yourselves. You worked your butts off this week, and it shows. Open your house and open your hearts, and maybe you'll have a new life. Is Dolores cured of hoarding? Not at all. The real work starts next week when Dolores has the urges to go shopping. The only way this house stays clean is that Dolores goes to therapy. I'm gonna make sure that she gets the help that she needs. I think this family needs to keep practicing setting limits, but if everybody does their part, I think we may be able to keep this problem away for good. I am not gonna hoard anymore. Absolutely not. And I promise to my husband and my children that this will not happen again. This is the beginning of the rest of my life, to live happily ever after. Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to a &E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.